Matthew, Yahoo, Matthew 9. And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Yahushua, seeing their belief, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, your sins be forgiven you. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemes. And Yahushua, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whether it's easier to say, Your sins be forgiven you, or to say, Arise and walk. But that ye may know that the son of Adam has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then says he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up your bed, and go unto your house. And he arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified Yah, which had given such power unto men. And as Yahushua passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass, as Yahushua set to eat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his Talmudim. And when the Parashim saw it, they said unto his Talmudim, Why does your rabbi eat with publicans and sinners? But when Yahushua heard that, he said unto them, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that means. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Then came to him the Talmudim of Yehuchanan, saying, Why do we and the Parashim fast off, but your Talmudim fast not? And Yahushua said unto them, can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them and they shall they fast. No man puts a piece of new cloth unto an old garment for that which is put in to fill it up takes from the garment and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old wineskins else the wineskins break, and the wine runs out, and the wineskins perish. But they put new wine into new wineskins, and both are preserved. While he spoke these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler, and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come and lay your hand upon her, and she shall live. And Yahushua arose and followed him, and so did his Talmudim. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and touched the tesitisit of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Yahushua turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort, your belief has made you whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And when Yahushua came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleeps. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose, and the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. And when Yahushua departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Yahushua said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Yea, Adonai. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your belief, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. And Yahushua straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. But they, when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with the devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spoke, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Yasharel. But the Parashim said, 
he casts out devils through the prince of the devils. And Yahusha went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the Basora of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then said he unto his Talmudim, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore Yahuwah of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. 